Oh my goodness, did my dog pee on the floor by my bed? <laughs> Good morning, YouTube, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Melanie, and I'm a seventh year, second grade teacher in a major city in Pennsylvania. And as promised in one of my formal videos, today I am going to do a what's in my teacher bag video. And currently, it is Indigenous Peoples Day, so I have the day off. Granted, why I decided to put darker lipstick on, girl gang all day, you, you know the vibes. But I thought that I'd show you this video because I was getting ready to sit down and start preparing for next week just so I have the materials that I need, things I need to copy that I need to make hard copies from at home, things I wanna make for my assistant when she does her small groups. And I thought, you know what, while my bag is right here, why not film this what's in my bag video? Now, I don't know all that's in my bag, okay? I take out two major things mostly um, on a normal basis and everything else in there. It could be stuff that I've thrown in my bag from when pandemic started. It could be little scraps of things that I've thrown in my bag, things when I was out um, after school, but I had my book bag, so I just threw things in there. I don't know. We're going to learn together exactly what's in my teacher bag. So let's get into it. All right, first and foremost, I don't want you to judge me for what's in my teacher bag, the bag that I bring home um, most days. That's actually my dog's bag. It's filled with like clothes or brushes. I had, um, I had like a shedding brush that I use for her. So I got the whole bag out and she got into the bag. That's a sock. You know, don't judge what you see down here. It is the day off, all right? If you hear a noise in the background, I'm doing laundry and you feel the vibes. But let's get into my book bag. So this is my teacher bag that I got off Amazon. I'll link it down below for those who are interested. I transitioned into a backpack maybe See, it's hard to count the pandemic year, but maybe two years before the pandemic, because I used to have like the shoulder strap bags, but you know, I'm already top heavy with back pain. So that really wasn't doing well for my back or my shoulder. And then one day on the bus, it popped. And so then I was like carrying the bag like a baby and it was just too much. This is way more comfortable for me. So I, I transitioned to my backpack style on this particular backpack, if I wanted to put like a portable charger on the inside, I could feed the cord out, put my phone in here and charge it. But usually I just keep it in my hand. I do have a portable charger that I keep at school. I don't usually just bring my cord to plug it into the wall. I do have a portable charger. Actually, it's right here. This is the portable charger that I use. Um, it takes about all night to charge, but once it's charged, this will last you like all week. I keep a backup cord that I have for my phone and then I have one that stays in my bedroom. And I take this with me everywhere to school, outside of school. I can sit my phone on top of it if I wanted to let it charge like that. If I took it out the case, I could fit three USBs in here. And where is it? Yes, and then I can charge it with my iPhone charger or with an Android charger. So I really recommend getting a portable charger. It helps when you have to do, say, recess duty and you notice your phone is dying or bus duty, you notice your phone is dying and you don't want to um, be connected to the wall where your charger is. Having one of these um, is very handy. And they do have lighter ones, of course, and thinner ones if that's your preference. I like the heavy duty ones. Um, it just works for me. So I could put that in the side, but I usually just throw my keys over here. Um, on the other side, I have a little hand sanitizer. I do take the bus, so I like to have this in the corner pocket for me to reach through. And I do have a mini ugh, lint roller. That's all dirty right now. I usually have a lint roller in my desk, but I like to have one um, in my bag too in case we go somewhere else for PD, um, in case I notice that I'm covered with uh, lint when I'm not in my classroom with my lint brush, then boom. 
All right, getting into my bag. Oh, you see down here? Yeah, a highlighter exploded, I guess, at one point in my bag. I was very concerned when I first saw this stain. I was like, oh my goodness, did my dog pee on the floor by my bag? <laughs> but no, I found the highlighter that like exploded in my bag. So this is harmless. You can't even really see this when it's on my back, only when my bag is laid like this. Let's start with the small part. Yes, this is okay. All right. <laughs> so I do carry a little VI poo. Um, this is like a poopery type of thing. They have these at Rite Aid. I, oh no, not Rite Aid. Uh, Acme. I like these better than poopery because I think it's just like the fruity one. I think it's stronger and it just, I don't know, smells better, more feminine. I don't always use this. It's basically full. But you never know when your stomach is about to act up at school. That is the worst time for your stomach to act up when you're in public. Not even just in school, just in public. Because I'll have my book bag, you know, I take the bus. So I think it's really good to have one of these in your bag just in case. All right. Wow, that was embarrassing. Um, and I have a backup lip gloss. This is actually the lip gloss that's matching my lips today. But I might also have a chapstick in here, but it's in my wallet right now. And that's really all that's in here. Um, I might throw in a pack of tissues in here when the weather gets colder because my nose is forever running. Now let's get into the bigger pocket. Oh gosh, I have a medium pocket right here. This is where I'm like, what's even in here? Okay, let's see if I can do this with my one hand. I keep my glasses in there. I have backup masks. I only have one more backup mask, so I need to fill this up with some more masks. I have some chart markers uh, because I used to make anger charts at home, and even though I keep my markers at home, I like to take them back and forth to school in case the ones at school are dried out. Um, then I can use the ones I use at home since I mostly make my anchor charts at school. And then whenever else I need them, I don't know, I just always kept them in my book bag just in case. And obviously they've all, most of them, half of them have fallen out. Oh, I can like organize this while, while I'm here. What is this? I have some, these are actually like 3D kind of like stickers that I got from, I actually got these stickers from, I went to the Color Factory in New York and at the end they gave us these stickers so i use these mostly for my kids that i tutor um if i if i they, if i feel like they need a little more incentive because they're a little agitated that day then i have those or sometimes i keep stickers because i take the bus and if i see a kid that's just having like the worst time with the parents permission i might give them a sticker if they be quiet you know so I have little mini dry erase markers. I keep dry erase markers again because I tutor, so I like to just have them in my book bag just in case I need them while I'm out. A mini Vaseline because the, an the ankles and the elbows be ashy. Seal it in with a little Vaseline, put some lotion on top, boom, you're good. Or your lips, you know, some people have mixed opinion about putting Vaseline on your face and on your lips, but hmm. <laughs> haven't had a problem with it so far um fun fact about me i can't swallow pills whole uh so i do have a little pill crusher so i keep pills up here on this part and then i open this up and crush them in there and i just have you know like um ibuprofen um advil because i do have a lot of pain all the time <laughs> as many teachers will know I have a little mini wristlet that I keep feminine products in. I don't know why I chose the brightest color wristlet to, to use. It's actually from Victoria's Secret 100 years ago that I probably got for free or for like $3 on a sale. But I do keep my feminine products in here because um, I don't travel with a purse, obviously. I have this book bag, so. I keep some foot warmers, some toe warmers, because my toes and hands are always on freezing, even if the rest of my body is hot. So I keep some of these. I usually have hand warmers, but they might not. I know there's some in my desk, so that's probably where they are. 
This is for your thighs, actually. I have like one of these in every bag that I have because if you're wearing a skirt or short shorts, even though this is my teacher bag, so this is mostly when I'm wearing a skirt or a dress, um, yeah, your thighs be rubbing. And after a while, if it's hot too, that sweat and that friction, mm, the chafe is real. So I like to have some of this. I put it on in the morning, but then if I need to reapply, I'll go in the bathroom, freshen up and reapply. So that is a nice smooth glide and I'm not in pain. Oh, y'all are getting all in my business today. I have um, some fabric tape. Oh, my bag's trying to fall. Oh, there it is. Well, I have some fabric tape just in case I need something to stay up or stay together. It works for me. Out of 10 points, I'd give it like a six. So it works when it has to work. Like if I'm just like taping, say my shirt um, to, I can't even say what I'm taping it to cause I'm, you know, I'm top heavy. So it doesn't really keep my shirt closed. But if it's like the side of it or something like that, then it works. Let's see. I have a backup mask that I probably would never put on my face cause it's probably dirty, covered with hair. I could, I'm actually gonna just keep this out and wash it. I'd rather use, I don't really like using fabric masks. I'd rather use the blue ones. Some more of these markers that fell out. Some shout wipes. This one obviously got hit by my ex highlighter that exploded. And looking at this, it might have a hole in it. So yeah, it does. So this is probably dried out. So I'm just gonna throw it away. But I, I have these in my desk. If you saw my what's in my desk video, shout wipes are really good for like almost any type of stain. I really... I really recommend these 10 out of 10 and I think that is all besides like a paper clip or a bobby pin that I used to just like keep bobby pins on my clothes honestly I used to just keep them on my clothes but then eventually I started forgetting that it was on there and it goes to the wash and you know how that goes so um yeah two bobby pins okay we're getting it done let's look at the big part of my book bag. I'm gonna literally throw all this back in here. Are you judging me? All right, throwing it back in there. <laughs> this is not an organizational video, all right? That'll come at a different time. We're just, mm-hmm, throwing it back in. You see it, you see the vibes. Not that nice though. Um, and I'm gonna keep my glasses out trying to use them. And then this is where I'd also put my portable charger. I put it in this part. In my biggest part of my book bag, I have my work laptop. I do have a personal laptop at home, but here's my work laptop that I have in this case. I'll also link this case down below. It's pretty soft. It came with um, over the keys, like the little pink, is, I have like a pink overlay over my keys that came with this case. This thing happened yesterday. I just was throwing this all over my floor. It has a pocket here that because I have a MacBook, I don't have USB drives on the particular MacBook that I have. So I bought one of these off Amazon that has my USB ports, a HDMI port. Um, you can use SIM cards for this and it plugs into USB-C. So I have one of these that I keep in here because I need that for my projector. I mean, my dot cam that I use. And I also have, oh my goodness, I can't reach it. But I also have my flash drive in there. And it does have, if you can see those compartments that I just ignore because I just throw it in there. But there's big compartments if I wanted to keep pins in here. And this is more what I'd use if I know I was going to a meeting. So I'd probably stick sticky notes in there and a backup pen because I use erasable pens. But if I need to actually sign something official, then I'd bring a permanent black or blue pen. And then it has a handle that I can carry it like that. And then my laptop is on the inside. It also, this case also came with the, um, cover for this. Also in my bag, I have my planner and I usually keep a pen just like this. I tuck it on the inside so that it doesn't fall off in my bag. I have my planner. I have a random, I don't know what that note is, but I have a random dry erase mat 
for uh, when I'm tutoring, if I need it. Oh my gosh, and like y'all, what is all in here? This bag comes with a little pocket on the corner where I have two more dry erase markers. I took. And then this big pocket is where I usually keep my iPad that I'm holding right now. I usually keep it in this pocket that currently has like, what is this? Let me, this is a good clean out. I have a bunch of these pictures. I'm not gonna show you on the other side, but they have, these are pictures that I use like my caught working hard and I use my insects camera for. And um, these are pictures from previous years. Um, usually at the end of the year, I give the kids back their pictures, but these are kids who didn't come like the last few days of school. So I still have theirs. Um, my last school, we had, we all had iPods. Um, I we all had iPod touches, and this is something that um, you can carry around your neck. The lanyard's probably in there too, and you can put your iPod touch there. Um, the name of my school is on the other side, <laughs> my old school. And you could carry that around your neck, but I never did that because for what? Um, I have some binder clips, like to-do binder clips. I have more pictures, folded up old, <laughs> uh sticky notes and that's was in that pocket then we get back to the meat of things i have i made like mini anchor charts for when i tutor but i did this before i really met the kids or i met the kids once and um the mom told me that the one has problems with creative writing and things like that he doesn't he just doesn't want to so there's a difference between his problems with it and he doesn't want to so I didn't really need all these mini anchor charts that I made and laminated but I have a few in here then a few in my other bag I have this is a folded up version of my school's uh conduct what is it called student conduct book I'm not going to show you because the name is on it but it's all folded up in the bottom shows how much I care I do care guys it's just uh, you know some more folded up uh post-it notes <laughs> this is so sad and embarrassing and then that goes with that that's the lanyard part i have oh gosh i have a lot of these little insect pictures you know why i have so many because this is when i left my school you know mid-year so i like when we the pandemic started so i just grabbed all that stuff and packed it put threw it in my bag so i never had a chance to see those students again I have a bag full of fake money that I use during my tutoring sessions. Um, I just keep it in my book bag so I don't forget. We don't do money every day, but I don't wanna do an impromptu money lesson. Um, here's what I do when I have summaries. I call it the five finger sum summary. Somebody wanted, but so then. So somebody who's the character wanted, what did they want? But what was the problem? So how did the character try to solve the problem? Then what was the resolution of the story? I like to use this both when retelling a story in our own words and when creating a story. So when we first wanna draft out ideas for our, a story that we're writing, I like to use this as well before we add more details. Mm -mm -mm. What is this? I have like an old pop mask that I never threw away. Uh, more folded up trash. Guys, it's really embarrassing. Oh, that is, what is this? I have more pictures, a tissue. I have these Clorox wipes that I'm going to keep in that bag and I have one in my lunchbox. And I like to use these in case I'm sitting somewhere, waiting somewhere and I wanna wipe down something. I have used this. I've gone to an escape room and used my to-go Clorox wipes. Like, don't play with me in this virus, okay? And um, it feels like the rest is just like the same, like folded up, post-it notes, trash. I feel some pins down here and some caps, yeah. So that's about what's in this bag. That wasn't that bad, see? <laughs> and then just as a bonus, Sometimes um, I'll have these bags that I take back and forth from school. So it might have um, 
extra curriculum or something that like a binder that I need to stuff, fill, organize that I can do really quick that doesn't can't fit in my bag. Um, I have this hoodie that I brought home to wash that's been in my classroom for a while. And then I wanted, I actually have two black hoodies that I ended up buying, so I was gonna keep one at school. I like to have a black hoodie or jacket if it does get drafty in my room right now, it gets really warm in my room. But um, if something happens to my outerwear that I'm wearing, my sweater, my cardigan, my shirt, then at least I can throw this on. I like to keep it in my room. And then I have one at home. I have things that I've laminated, letters that I've already laminated. I don't know why I just take this back and forth. And I also have a science curriculum somewhere. I don't know where it is, but I know I brought it home and I was working on it yesterday. So who even knows where that science curriculum is? Like, it's a mystery. It could be under there. I don't know, but it's here somewhere. <laughs> okay, so that was a very embarrassing what's in my teacher bag. It's not even a joke. I told you it was very random. I had no idea what was in there. Like I had, I really only take out my things that I tutor with, my glasses, my charger, my laptop, and my planner. Everything else in there, I'm just like, oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's in there too. <laughs> but that's that's real. No matter how organized I feel like I get in my classroom or at home, like my bags, like just in general, my bags, my purses are just a never ending pit of stuff. But what's in your teacher bag? Is yours as cluttered as mine? Do you have anything that you always have to have in your teacher bag? just in case are you a driver what do you put in your teacher bag what's in your trunk because i know that y'all probably have stuff in your cars too and if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you are updated when my next video comes out and i hope to see you there bye